Virginia, say it ain't so. New bills coming out to try to limit concealed carry. And this one doesn't even make sense. Gun fam, let's get into it. All right, so guys, check this report out. I, it's, this is just crazy to me. So they've introduced a bill to limit concealed carry in Virginia saying you cannot carry in restaurants that serve or have a, has a license to serve alcohol on the premises to be consumed. And first of all, just check this out, just listen. In your Capitol connection tonight, Virginia Democrats are renewing their efforts to try and com combat gun violence here in the Commonwealth. One proposed measure includes changes to where people can carry a concealed handgun. Capitol Bureau reporter Tyler Englander has the details. Currently in Virginia, residents with a concealed carry permit are allowed to bring their handgun into a restaurant or bar, provided that they don't drink alcohol. But a proposed measure wants to ban concealed weapons from these places entirely. You have people who are in the bar that are going to be drinking uh, that may or may not see a concealed weapon and they want to horse around. That's going to lead to violence. That's going to lead to accidents that could take place. Senator-elect Saddam Salim has introduced a bill that would make it a crime for anyone to carry a concealed handgun inside a restaurant or bar that has a license to serve alcohol. We have seen hate across every race and religion uh, increased over the years. As a result of that, uh, the people that own these restaurants, the people that are serving you, your waiters, they are the folks that are minorities. They're the folks that are out there every single day. And now it's important to note that Virginia is an open carry state and Van Cleve says there's nothing in this bill that would prevent someone from openly carrying a weapon in a restaurant or bar. All right, so <laughs> that is, like I said, that's crazy. So here we go. You want to stop gun violence. And first of all, I haven't heard of this multitude of events that have happened in bars and restaurants and clubs that serve alcohol to be consumed on the premises and concealed carry owners. So I don't know why this is the target or this is the point. The problem with it is that you're disarming people further in the space where the crime occurs the most. So the crime occurs between someone leaving their car, going to a restaurant, someone leaving their car, going to a club, then coming back from those establishments, trying to get back to their car, trying to get back to their homes. These are the places that you're now saying they're not allowed to carry, or they would have to pull up to the restaurant, take the firearm off, put it in their car, then go in to enjoy their meal or whatever, even though they choose not to drink. The reason this is important for my area where I train, I am in the area affectionately known as the DMV, shout out to 20, where the district, Maryland and Virginia all converge. And our laws are all different. For instance, Maryland just tried to put this in place in SB1 and it was enjoined, it was struck down and uh, there's an injunction placed against that part of SB1 saying that that's not gonna be, that can't be enforced currently. Virginia, we already know, currently doesn't have this in place. And D.C. has this in place where you cannot carry firearms in areas or, excuse me, in a, into establishments with a license to sell alcohol to be consumed on the premises. This is where D.C.'s crime occurs. This crime right here that occurred at the wharf, which is supposed to be a safe place, most people would think. Um, if you didn't grow up around here, if you don't know Southeast Southwest, what that area used to look like, that would be an area where you think, oh, I'm going to have a meal, blah, 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 blah. And, and people were just standing outside, I guess, waiting for their Ubers or whatever. And guys pull up and rob them because they have shopping bags. Stupid robbers because the bags were full of food. But the point is, even if the people were concealed carry, had concealed carry permits, which the, the district is a, a shall issue jurisdiction, so you can get your permit in the district. Even if they had their permits, they wouldn't have been able to carry in the restaurants. And even if they choose not, even if they chose not to drink, they wouldn't have been able to carry in the restaurants. Therefore, while they came out and get, went back to the places that they wanted to go, 
couldn't have been armed. It wouldn't have been armed, not legally. So you get robbed at gunpoint at, at, in that area. Maryland just struck it down. Virginia, you're trying to say, hey, let's disarm people in that space. That's crazy. Secondly, he's talking about, oh, you have the right to feel safe when you're eating your dinner. I guarantee you, I've been carrying for years and I'm sitting in a restaurant and I'm not drinking and I have my firearm and no one sitting around me has felt any less safe because I have the firearm. If they felt any less safe, that's a whole nother video. But it wasn't because I'm carrying a firearm because number one, it's concealed. They don't even know I have it. So they're not sitting there thinking, God, I wish nobody could carry in this place so I could feel safer. That's just dumb. This is this is senseless. It does it does not make any sense. It's the definition of senseless to s tell people don't be armed in an area or at a time where the crime is occurring. Don't be able to protect yourself in those areas. So, and then the other thing is areas, places that you go. Uh, uh, people have the, this misconception that crime only occurs in the hood for some reason. The hood and. I had a student the other day, I was teaching the class and on break, I come back into the classroom and, and they're going back and forth about this where one guy's more, I would say more street savvy at the life he's led prior and she's military and I guess does risk assessment uh, professionally. And she was saying that she doesn't, she said, she said that's hood shit. That only happens in the hood. It's um, paranoid to think that you have to be able to carry your firearm in a restaurant. And everyone, I, I try to, you know, try to break them up, hear both sides, and, and everyone has their own level of preparation. Um, if you believe you wanna be able to defend yourself at any time, then that's how you do it. If that's how you wanna do it, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine too. But crime is not exclusive to low income areas. Crime happens everywhere the place where that happened at the wharf that is not a low income area as far as housing and uh, restaurants places to do anything down there you have to go down there with some money in your pocket which is what brings the criminals so that that's that's a myth i don't know why people think that but um crime can can, can occur everywhere and however you want to prepare for it you do you uh, my thing is i don't know why people crap on others if I if, if a person wants to defend themselves with a firearm, that's fine. If a person doesn't, that's fine too. Okay. If if you don't, I'm not going to force my firearm on you. But don't try to disarm me because you feel uncomfortable around firearms. I've trained for it. I'm a responder. This is what I do. And lastly, the bill ends or the report ends, and the guy says there's nothing to stop you from open carrying in the establishment. All right, it, uh, this is one of those situations that that's a whole another video too. There are open carry and concealed carry camps. People have different beliefs about both. In this situation, you shouldn't be open carrying. I don't believe so. Um, it's a close quarter situation. It is a situation that makes you a target in more ways than one. Somebody wants to do a gun grab or something like that, and then this is where the open carry, uh, um, the open carry pro people come in and, and say, oh, triple retention holsters and stuff like that. Fine, I get it. Uh, but it, but everybody's not gonna be that savvy about it. So open carry is, I don't think is advised in a situation like this because it opens you up to gun grabs, things like that. And then on the other side of it, it gives away your tactical advantage. So if somebody is coming into the place to do something bad, and I look around and I say, oh, that guy's open carrying. That's the guy I'm gonna shoot first, plain and simple. So I don't agree with open carrying, but the bill says, oh, you can open carry, but you didn't, you want people to feel safe, but I can open carry because you see the gun. So now let's go back to that situation where I'm sitting having dinner and the family sees my gun on my hip and, and I'm just dressed in regular clothes so that I don't look like, a, I know when I dress in my instructor clothes, I look like a, probably look like law enforcement. But if I'm dressed in regular clothes and they see that I'm just carrying this gun on my hip openly, I would think that that's gonna make them feel less safe than me concealed carrying. I, I mean, I don't see how you can even disagree with that. Obviously, I am for everyone's safety as well as my own. My own and my family comes first and that is why I do what I do. 
he also cited hate as growing in the country. Um, if that is the case, if that's what you believe, target hate, not people that are already obeying the law. It doesn't make sense. If you want to, the other thing that he cited was if people are drinking in there in the bar and they want to horse around, that'll cause violence. Bruh, don't put your hands on me. I'm not here to horse around, especially if I'm in a bar and not drinking. I'm, I'm not here to horse around. And and for that to cause violence, again, to get on the, or jump on the person that's not drinking. If I've chosen not to drink that night so that I can carry my firearm because of, for whatever reason, uh, there, I don't know of a whole bunch of events that this has happened in establishments, but I know an active threat can happen in any establishment. Any establishment can get attacked. Uh, Pulse nightclub was a nightclub that got attacked because uh, for for other reasons, but uh, the shooter also identified that there was no one armed in the club. So those are just some, those are my, I don't know why Virginia would try to do this. DC really needs to get rid of it to protect its citizens and people that visit DC. And let me know what you guys think, how you guys feel, chime in in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed it, I mean, there's gonna be plenty more to come. Please hit the like, subscribe buttons, all of that stuff. I didn't used to say that in any of my videos, but I realize now that you do have to say it because it helps our content stay recognized. The censorship is unbelievable when it comes to two-way comment content. So any two-way content or any two-way content creator that you follow, that you like, make sure you like their videos. Um, I would assume that you're already subscribed to a few of them, hit the notification bells. But the thing that you can do repeatedly is like their videos when they come through. And with that being said, the Gun Brothers out. I will talk to you guys soon. Stay protected.